My name is Jane Kennedy and I'm a lead keeper at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. At present I'm in charge of the East African area which entails East Africa, Central Asia, and the Asian Plains exhibits. What I like best about being a keeper is interacting with the animals and interacting Good with girl. the wonderful people that I get to work with Good. here. You guys are hard workers. <laughs> the East crew is the best crew ever. It takes time to get to know the animals in your care. The first thing you need to do is just get used to being around them and about them because unlike every other zoo, you're actually out with animals that are around 24-7. So they have a different attitude and they act more like a herd here. And it's your job as a keeper to just observe and take notes and just absorb things throughout the day and throughout the years of your training so that you can better know the animals in your care. So we're going to be releasing this uh, male Chinese Saika back to his females. He went and had a short stay at the hospital, but he's back now. And um, we'll be careful because, as you can see, she's an Indian gower. As far as the Indian gaur go, they are very formidable creatures. As you can see, they're between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds. They have nice big horns and an attitude to go with it. She was actually letting the rest of the herd know that she was concerned about something. And when you're a gaur and you're concerned about something, that usually means vocalizing and using your horns to tear up the ground and letting everybody in the area know that you're big and you're broad and you better not come too close to me because I could do this to you. The, the first thing I think about when I see a gower is impressive. They're big, they're brown, they're strong, and they, they aren't afraid of anybody. They even will walk up to the Indian rhinos and push them around. These animals come from India and the Malay Peninsula. Unfortunately, in that area, they're now becoming endangered. Um, they're suffering from habitat encroachment and other problems. You always have to think safety whenever you're around anything that weighs 1,500 or 2,000 pounds. What I like best about the bovids is that they're just so unpredictable. I mean, you may have a calm day with them and they're all getting along well and everything's fine. And then the next thing, they could be seeing a truck or a trailer and they get a little bit more skittish and you've got to be a little bit more on your toes when you work around them. They really make you think as a keeper and you're always on your toes.